Hi, this is Mrs. Kidman, and in this video, we are going to be discussing tan the tangent line to circle theorem. So what that says is a line is tangent to a circle if and only if the line is perpendicular to the radius of the circle at the endpoint of the circle. So what does that mean? That means that if I want to determine whether or not a line is truly tangent to a circle, that tangent has to be perpendicular to the radius when it goes from the center of the circle to that point of tangency that we're trying to evaluate. So how can we use this idea? Well, this is so cool because we can end up using things like the Pythagorean theorem to determine whether or not a line is actually tangent to a circle. So let's take a look at a few examples here. We want to decide, is ST a tangent to, to circle P? Well, how can we figure this out? Well, remember that if it is tangent, that means that this has to be a 90 degree angle. Meaning that if that's a 90 degree angle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem or the leg squared plus the leg squared should be equal to the hypotenuse squared. If that's not the case, if it's either bigger or smaller, then it doesn't make a right triangle, therefore it's not a tangent line. So let's take a look at this example here. So this is gonna be a leg, that 12. So we've got 12 squared plus our other leg, which is 35 squared, should be equal to the hypotenuse or that piece opposite which is 37 squared. Now what we have to wonder is, is 12, 35, 37 a Pythagorean triple? And let's take a look and see whether or not it is. So we can multiply these numbers out here to figure that out. So we've got 12 squared, which equals 144, plus we have 35 squared, which is 1,225. And we wanna know, is that equal to 37 squared? which is 1,369. Well, if I do 144 plus 1,225, I get 1,369. So they are equal, meaning that ST is, a t is tangent to circle P. Awesome. Okay, let's take a look at one last example here where it uses that same idea. So in this diagram below, point B is considered the point of tangency. We want to find the radius R of circle C. So knowing that that's the point of tangency means that this segment here, AB, is actually going to be our tangent. And we know that if that's our tangent, that this piece right here is going to be 90 degrees, right there at angle B. So using that idea, we can use the Pythagorean theorem with these unknown values to figure out what the radius of our circle is. So let's do that. So remember, the Pythagorean theorem is one of our legs plus the other leg squared equals the hypotenuse. So in this case, our hypotenuse is going to be that AC, and AC is actually 50 plus R. So we've got 50 plus R squared is equal to, let me give myself a little more space here, that's going to be equal to our short leg, 80 squared plus R squared. And we need to figure out what in the world is R. So we can use our calculator to figure out what 80 squared is. And 80 squared is going to be 6,400 plus R squared is going to be equal to, now we need to expand this out. Now remember, when we expand something like this out, we cannot just distribute R squared in. We are going to have to FOIL this or just use that distributive property. So we can do our 50 squared, which is going to give us 2,500. Plus, we're going to get 100 R plus r squared. Now what this is telling us that we have to do is we're gonna have to solve for r, either using factoring, completing the square, the quadratic formula, something like that, unless we can get rid of something, which we can here. So what I'm gonna do is try to get everything to one side. So I'm gonna move all the r's to one side and all the constants to the other. So I'm gonna subtract 2,500 from this side. And I'm going to subtract r squared from this side. So what happens? Well, these cancel out, but there's only one R square on this side, so these ones also cancel out. This will simplify over here, and what we end up getting is that 6,400 or 6,400 minus 2,500, which is 3,900, is equal to 100 R. That's all that's left there. So then we can divide by 100 on either side, and we end up getting that r is equal to 39, meaning that the radius of our circle here is 39. So this is 39, this is 39, making this whole distance 89. 
Beautiful. That's how this works. So we can do it again and again, however many times we need to. But the key thing here in deciding whether or not a line is tangent to another one is we want to know whether or not it makes a right triangle between that tangent, the radius of our circle, and from the center of the circle to a point on that tangent line. If those three lines will make a right triangle like we see here, we can then determine whether or not this is actually a tangent line. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out, but that is how we can use the tangent line to circle theorem to determine whether or not a line is truly tangent to that circle.